Hello friends, this is World of English and welcome to Syllable and Word Stress. Now, before moving to stress, let's try to understand what's a syllable. So, syllable happens to be the most fundamental unit or part of our speech. That means, whenever we inhale or exhale in order to produce speech, with each of our breath, we produce a syllable. And in English, each word must have at least one syllable. So, without one single syllable, without at least one single syllable, any English word cannot be complete. And next important thing is that every syllable must have at least one vowel in it. Therefore, vowel happens to be an indispensable or compulsory or a mandatory part of a syllable. On the other hand, consonants are not really compulsory. They are optional, so there can be one or more than one consonants present in a syllable. But they are optional and finally depending on the number of syllables present in a word we have different types of words the first category is monosyllabic words that means these are the words that contain only one single syllable then we have disyllabic words that means the words with two syllables in them next trisyllabic words with three syllables in them and finally polysyllabic words are the words that contain minimum three or more than three syllables in them so stress what is it by the way it's a way of putting extra pressure or force on one single sound or syllable in a word and usually such a sound or syllable is longer and louder in nature and finally we have two types of stress that is primary and secondary stress here you can see the stress signs or marks the first one is for the primary stress which is placed at the top of the stressed syllable and the second one is for the secondary syllable which is placed at the bottom of the secondary stressed syllable that means the stressed syllable which is not really important compared to the primary stressed syllable so now let's deal with the rules or tricks of identifying the stressed syllable in a word so the first trick is to go ahead with the word royal w that is royal w which means if a word ends with r or y or l or double O then the first syllable of such a word will be stressed for example trailer then perpetrator then beautiful then surgical then legal and magical and wow our next rule guides us that if our word is a monosyllabic or disyllabic noun or adjective then the first syllable of such words is stressed for instance boy then girl then birthday then handsome then laptop then start next in compound words with an adjective and a noun or vice versa the first syllable is stressed for instance newspaper then cupboard then living room then handwriting wheelbarrow touchpad touch screen and typewriter however the compound words with verbs in them may not be stressed on the first syllable on the other hand they might be stressed on the second syllable. Interestingly, our next rule tells us that if a word has a weak prefix in it, then we must lay emphasis on the second syllable of such a word. For instance, a page well, a page well, a per or per is a weak prefix, therefore, pe is stressed.
Next, enjoyable. Enjoyable here in is weak prefix. Next, imported. Imported here im is a kind of weak prefix. Then bicycle. Bicycle again by here is we. Next, around and against here a is a weak kind of prefix. Then before and beyond. Before and beyond. Here again, B is a weak prefix. Then eco-friendly. Eco-friendly. Here, eco can be roughly considered as a weak prefix. Next is instructor. Instructor. Here, in is a weak prefix. Then advance. Advance. Here, ad is a weak prefix. Then computer. Computer. Here, com is a kind of weak prefix. Then connection. Connection. Here, k is just like come a weak prefix. Then irregular. Irregular. Here, ir is a weak prefix. And finally, affect and research. Research. Here, re is also a weak prefix. Let's concern ourselves with some more stress rules where the emphasis will be laid either on the second syllable or the other syllables. So the first rule is about disyllabic verbs. If a word is disyllabic, but if it is a verb, then the second syllable of such a disyllabic verb will be stressed. So the examples are record, record, then object, object, then address, address, then contest, contest, then arrive, arrive, next arrange, arrange, next refuse, refuse, later escape, escape, and finally produce, produce. Further, if a word ends in a suffix like laji or crafi or ikl or ise or ize and finally iti, then the syllable which is third from the last in such a word will be stressed. Here, the simplest trick is to remember that all the suffixes are mostly disyllabic. So just we will have to stress the syllable which is before them. For example, zoology, zoology, here l and g are already disyllabic. Therefore, o, that means the syllable just before them has received the stress. So the word is zoology, then virology, virology, later photography, photography, next geography, geography, Moreover, economical, economical, later, philosophical, philosophical, next, stabilize, stabilize, then, emphasize, emphasize, second last is equality, equality, and the final one is society, society. Similarly, another rule tells us that, if a word ends in either double E or double E R, E T T E or self as a suffix, such suffixes will only receive the stress. For example, nominee, nominee, then volunteer, volunteer, then engineer, engineer, then cassette, cassette, and finally yourself, yourself. Additionally, the next rule is if a word ends in either of these suffixes like ian, il, ion, ik, ikl, ikli, or ious, or eous, then the second syllable from the last receives the stress. For example, indin, indin. Here, it is already a disyllabic word, therefore, there are only two syllables, therefore, the last, second from last means the first syllable. Therefore, in is in is the first syllable which is already received the stress. Indeed. Then comedian, comedian. Here it's a trisyllabic word. 
therefore me happens to be the second syllable from the last which has already received the stress and then the first syllable is k okay let's try to move on to the next one magician magician again g is the second syllable from the last therefore it has received the stress then initial initial finally confusion confusion next economic economic and final spatial spatial our second last rule tells us that if a word has meter as a word in it then the syllable just before this meter part will receive the stress for example thermometer thermometer here ma is just before meter therefore it has received the stress next speedometer speedometer the syllable just immediately before meter is da therefore it has already received the stress so it becomes speedometer lastly in a phrasal verb it is the participle which receives the stress for example put on put on then turn off turn off put down put down give up give up then go away go away then hold on hold on then hang on hang on thank you for further queries or communication you can reach out to us at worldofenglish001 at gmail.com